Yo, what's up fam and welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time on the channel, welcome to my office. Uh, this is my home studio, my somewhat organized, sometimes junky <laughs> office, my home studio. In this video, I want to talk about one of the things that I've invested in um, to kind of speed up the workflow. And sometimes in creating beats and making music, speeding up the workflow is not always a good thing. In fact, part of making sure you have a good workflow and making sure you actually get stuff done is making sure that you invest in some of the tools that allow you to be way more efficient. So like I said, I've been trying to get organized and I've been trying to upgrade and update the studio to where it is more efficient and more inspiring to be in here and create and just uh, get my ideas out as quick as possible, but as efficient as possible. Now a faster workflow isn't always the best workflow. Sometimes you have to slow down and actually learn the things that you're doing. And that means learning hotkeys for your DAWs and your applications as well. So shout out to Editor's Keys. They sent me something that I think will help tremendously in my workflow as far as being efficient and actually getting stuff done and knowing what I'm doing, being more intentional in what I'm doing while creating beats here in the studio. So let's check it out. All right, so a couple of days ago, I made a post on the Patreon page and I posted this picture and I asked my patrons to vote and help me pick which package that I open next. And a lot of you guys actually uh, chose this package here. So that's what we're opening today. What could it be? Let's find out. All right, so here we have the Editor's Keys backlit keyboard for Logic Pro. It has all of the key commands and all the shortcuts for Logic Pro 10 mapped out and actually printed on the keys. The good thing about them being printed on the keys is that it's not gonna peel off anytime soon or even uh, give any wear and tear anytime soon. These keys actually seem like they're pretty textured and uh, have a really good feel to them. Um, even just uh, uh, playing around on it. I'm actually uh, messing stuff up on the uh, on the keyboard, but they're nice and clicky, just like any, uh, almost like a mechanical keyboard. Uh, they're not really loud keys, so uh, they do feel like really good quality. And the keyboard itself is made up of plastic with a pretty long uh, cable. I know one of the uh, first generations of this uh, of this keyboard didn't come with a, a long cable at all. So they did give you uh, enough cable to uh, run this through your desk or, you know, through your workstation um, so that you can have this plugged up. The only thing I wish about this is that um, it would be really dope if this one was a Bluetooth. If they had a Bluetooth model, I would, <laughs> I would really love this thing then. So, um, yeah, it's pretty slim, lightweight, and... Uh, Pretty good build quality. So the thing that is really dope about this is that it has the shortcuts and stuff on, on here, uh, printed on here. They're very neatly printed. Like I said, the keys have like some sort of texture to where it is uh, printed on there. It's not gonna fade or rip off or rub off anytime soon. They're very neatly printed on there and very well organized, easy to understand. And um, some of these keyboard shortcuts I already knew. And then some of them I I never even knew existed inside of Logic Pro. I'm gonna be honest with you. So just learning these keyboard shortcuts on this uh, for Logic period has been a journey for me. And I don't know if I ever mentioned this on the channel, but when I'm working at the keyboard, I sometimes I hate reaching up here. Since my workstation has grown a lot, I have a sidecar here and a sidecar there. If I needed to, I could just slide over here and pretty much have everything set up over here. And then I can still have my record buttons and all my uh, play, stop, pause while I'm playing on this MIDI keyboard or any other external MIDI keyboard outside of my main keyboard that actually controls everything. So again, having the shortcuts and everything printed on the keyboard is actually teaching me how to use Logic Pro more efficiently than I have ever used it before. Um, again, I, a lot of these key keyboard shortcuts I didn't even know existed inside of Logic. It'll be really dope to see how uh, much of the tools that I'm able to use now, uh, just being able to see it and call it out on the screen. The backlighting on the keyboard can be turned on and off, so it just like a regular MacBook keyboard, but the colors on the keyboard actually correspond to each shortcut. And um, 
yeah, like I said, these are a lot of these are new to me, so I'm really excited to see what type of workflow I create with this. Uh, just bringing up the uh, different tools and stuff like that. Very quick, easy access to all of my tools on screen, as well as uh, being away from the laptop. One of the other dope things about having this external keyboard, especially if you're on a Mac, is having this numeric pad over here, over in this section, uh, which the laptops do not have. So these also hold their own presets, their own uh, sh shortcut keys, hotkeys, and stuff like that. So you have... Uh, the, your different markers you also have a stop pause and play button as well as a record button over here and since i've been using logic pro for years and still don't know all the hotkeys this will be a game changer in helping me uh use the tools that i need when i need them instead of trying to search all the menus and browse through all the tools then i'll just have everything right here uh clickable and uh right here in front of me i can also see this in like a collaborator scenario to where you or your collaborator your partner are at a at the main computer or you're at the instruments and you're doing your thing if your main midi controller doesn't have like transport button controls or anything like that then you can use this as such as well as being able to recall your position and different things like that. All the hotkeys and all the instructions are there. So both you and the collaborator have access to transport controls and editing tools right at your fingertips, literally. <laughs> so like I mentioned before, Editor's Keys has a whole catalog. They've actually been in the game for a while. So if you don't have Logic Pro, they actually have a keyboard for your DAW. Go on over to their website and I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find one of the their backlit keyboards for your DAW, especially if you're using one of the flagship DAWs like FL Studio, GarageBand, uh, Pro Tools, whatever DAW you're using, they have a a keyboard for it. They have overlays that you can lay on top of your existing keyboards. And speaking of overlays, they actually just released their newest overlay for Luma Fusion. So if you like editing videos using your iPad Pro and your Apple keyboard, or even you know some of the older generation Apple keyboards, their overlays pr pretty much do the job, give you all the hotkeys and all the shortcuts for Luma Fusion. I think it's been updated to the latest version as of right now, as of this video. All the hotkeys that pretty much exist right now for Luma Fusion fusion you will have them on that overlay go ahead and check that out i'll put the link in the description and all the links of the stuff that i talked about in the description um, some of them will be affiliate links so if you use those you'll be helping me out i get a small kickback from that but most definitely check out the rest of their catalog as they do have pro audio gear listed on their website as well Shout out to Editor's Keys. Thanks again for sending this over to me. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Be sure to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss anything else that I post in the future. Thanks for rocking with me. Thanks for rocking with the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.